I married Joe. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Joan Davis. With Jim Backus in I Yes, Doris, wait until you see the hat. If I say so myself, I'm an absolute dream in it. Uh-huh. Well, even the sales girl said that it was just perfect for my type. Yeah, an original. And can you imagine? Marked down to $25. No, no, I didn't take it with me. I decided to be sensible about it. Well, you see, I couldn't pay for it out of my household money, and I promised Brad that I wouldn't charge any more things this month. So I'm having it sent out COD. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, I'm preparing Brad's favorite breakfast. You know, I figure if I get him in a good mood, I should be able to get the money. <laughs> well, I don't want to go into the crying bit unless I have to. Yeah, I hate sending Brad to the office with a damp handkerchief. Ah, <laughs> uh, here comes Nelson Eddy now, and he's singing our song. Goodbye, dear. Ah, it's a great, great morning. There he is, Mr. Hmm. Here we are. Oh, hotcakes. Yeah, and here's some melted butter for you. Oh, is that great? I'll get some coffee for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Figure it's the least I can do for my darling, wonderful husband who has such an important job is to see that he gets a very good breakfast to start him off in the morning. What color is the hat? Well, it's a yellow one, dear, with a cute little veil and a... How'd you know I bought a hat? Well, the last time you made hot cakes, a pair of shoes came COD. Time before that, it was gloves, so I figured you were about due for a hat. You're supposed to be a judge, not a private eye. Oh, these hot cakes are wonderful. Well, thank you, dear. <clears throat> but, Joni, no hat. Give me back my hot cake. Oh, come on now, honey. Don't be silly. Well, that's all you care about, my happiness. And uh, look, Joni. Joni, if you're going into the crying bit, will you use this? I hate going into court with a damp handkerchief. There you are. Oh, you. But, Joni, you don't need a hat. All right, I don't need a hat. But you want me to save money for you, don't you? Of course. Well, this hat cost $37.50, and it was marked down to $25. Joan, when are you going to learn to resist these so-called bargains of yours that we can't afford? Last month, you used the electric bill money to get a permanent. Well, they were giving away two free hairnets with it. That is what I need. Well, the electric bill is more important to you than my appearance. And last week, I gave you extra money to buy Judge Bunker's housewarming gift. And what did you do with it? You went and bought a new sweater set with it. I did not. I used that money to pay for the milk bill. What happened to the money for the milk bill? I used that to buy the sweater set. <laughs> Joan, I am going to give you $50. What? Oh, honey, I knew you were just teasing me. You shouldn't do that. There you are. I'm all excited. Oh, you sweet darling. You are so generous. And I want you to use that to buy Judge Bunker's housewarming gift that you were supposed to buy last week. Oh, I know, but $50, honey, for a housewarming gift. I don't even know the Bunkers. Judge Bunker's a very important associate of mine. They're buying a new house, and I want you to get them a nice gift. Brad? I know where I can get a lovely vase for $20. No, I want you to get a $50 gift for $50. $50 for a housewarming gift. And I don't even know the bunkers. I have a COD for Mrs. B.J. Stevens. That'll be $25. It's my hat. It's my hat. Not until you pay the 25 bucks late. Oh, it's such a beautiful hat. Yeah, lady. It's a little yellow hat with the cutest feather. Yeah, on. lady. And even the sales girl said that it was just perfect for my type. Well, you can have it for just $25. <laughs> no, you'll have to take it back. <laughs> I'm not going to find another hat like this. 
Well, I could look for weeks and not find one. Mm -hmm. Now that i found the perfect hat, isn't it logical for me to keep it? Mm -hmm. No, it isn't. Why, I'll buy the hat when I've got the money for it. Now, take it back, and that is final. <laughs> be gone by then. Well, I almost had it that time. Say, uh, do you mind if I try it on just once? Now, lady, please. Oh, look, I tell you what you do. Uh, half one of my husband's cigars. They're right in there. Cigars? It'll only take a minute. Take it back. I just can't have the hat. That's all there is to it. Now take it back this instant. But it's such a beautiful hat. <laughs> Sam. Mrs. Joe, listen, I'm going to be a little late on the route today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, I've got another one of those yo-yo dames. <laughs> stick with them to the end. Okay, Sam, I'll be seeing you. Do you like some more milk? I don't mind if I do. Hi, Joni. Oh, hello, Betty. Oh, company. <laughs> this is Mr. Um, uh, 76th. Oh, hi. <laughs> Say, new hat. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Don't you like it? I love it. Then how come you look so upset? Well, Brad gave me $50 to buy a housewarming gift with, and I'd like to use $25 of it to buy this hat. But I'm afraid to. Maybe you could get a $50 gift for only $25, and Brad will never know. Did you look in the paper? Mm-hmm. All I could find were $25 things they want $50 for. Well, sometimes there are current sales or auctions. You can get things for practically nothing. Auctions? See, that's a wonderful idea, Betty. I saw an ad in the paper this morning they're having one. Yes, there it is. Say, you know, you can pick up some terrific bargains at these auctions. I think I'll go down there right away, Betty. But, Joan, at an auction, you have to know the value of things. Oh, now, don't you worry about me. Honey, when it comes to knowing the value of things, as far as a dollar is concerned, believe me, I... I think you better go with me. Mrs. Stevens. That. Oh, I knew he was here for something. <laughs> I'll take it. $25. Okay. Fifteen once, fifteen twice. <laughs> Sold to the gentleman for fifteen dollars. Now the next item that I'm going to offer for your approval, ladies and gentlemen, is this fine antique lamp. That's the lamp I was telling you about, Betty. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yes. Oh, Joni, if you can only get that for twenty-five dollars, it looks like it's worth at least fifty. What am I bid for this lamp? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. I have ten dollars. Thank you, sir. Any more? Do I hear more? Ten dollars? Uh, ten dollars and fifteen cents. Uh, ten dollars and fifteen cents. Thank you. Yes. I have ten dollars and fifteen cents. Do I hear more? How about fifteen, ladies and gentlemen? Anybody give me fifteen dollars? Uh, fifteen dollars and uh, fifteen cents. Joe. Fifteen Thank you. Thank you. I have fifteen. Fifteen. How about twenty? Do I hear twenty from anyone? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Thank you, sir. I have twenty dollars. Do I hear more? Uh, twenty dollars. And 15 cents. Yes, thank you. I have $20 and 15 cents anymore, ladies and gentlemen. I want 25. How about 25? 22.50. 22.50 from this gentleman. I have 22.50. Do I hear more? You all My lady's modi shop down Elm Street? The girl told me it was an original. And Only one like it. Oh, well, she told me that the design was made just for me. She must have thought that I had two heads. Well, she'll certainly hear from me about this. I want to call to your attention is this very interesting uh, moose head. Yeah. 
Roger, man. For my bid for this moose. Why they do One dollar. I hear one dollar. Do I have more? One fifty. One fifty from this gentleman. Any more? Two dollars. Two dollars. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Any more? Two twenty-five. Two dollars and twenty-five cents. I have two twenty-five. It is going once for two twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five dollars and fifteen cents. There's $25 and uh, 15 cents. And here you are. He's all yours. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have an outstanding piece of Chinese art. Uh, mister, <laughs> there must be some mistake. I, I bid on a lamp. Uh, this is not a lamp. No mistake, lady. I sold the lamp. You bid on this little fella, and you got him. Uh, do you mean that I paid $25.15 for this moose head? That's right, lady. Shrewd buy. But... All sales are final. I want to call to your attention the fact that the colors in this little vase have been baked in with infinite patience. This has enabled the artisans to get a gradation and a... Uh, mister, I don't want the moose head. What am I going to do with it? Sell it, lady. Where am I ever going to find anybody who wants to buy a moose head? I found somebody. Now you find somebody, just like you. Don't be silly. You know that's impossible. Look, lady, you bought the moose head. It's yours. Wear it in good health. I'm busy, please. Ladies and gentlemen. A nice moose head. That's a gift with plenty of warmth and charm. Yeah, well, how about a, um, a vase? How about a moose head? That's a gift with warmth and charm for the man who has everything. A moose head. <laughs> oh, John, now where would you get a, a moose head? <laughs> I think I know where I can lay my hands on one. Oh, darling. A moose head. Honey. Oh, I can just see Judge Bunker's face when he's talking. You know, Johnny, I get angry. Well, how about it? Now, look, John, don't do anything silly about buying this gift. You've mixed up plenty of things in the past. This time, I don't want anything going wrong. I haven't got time to buy it myself. I gave you $50. And when I come home this evening, I want to find a nice, conventional, thoughtful gift that looks like it's worth $50. Goodbye, lover. $50 by 5 o'clock, my head's going to be stuffed and mounted next to his. Now, Betty, if you were furnishing a house and you wanted to buy a moose head, where would you go? I'd probably go to an auction. That's what we'll do. What's what we'll do? Run an auction. Sell the moose head. Come on, let's go. Uh, Joan, people don't go to auctions just to buy moose heads. You know? <laughs> People who are furnishing homes go to auctions, but they only go to places where they're auctioning off whole housefuls of furniture. That's what we'll do. What's what we'll do? Sell all the furniture in the house. <laughs> no, we can't do that. Brad will be furious. Well, don't you see, Betty? I'll say that I'm auctioning off the furniture. Now, you outbid everybody on everything except the moose head. Now, you just start the bidding on that. I'll still have my furniture. And I'll get rid of the moose head. And don't you worry about a thing, dear. I'm going to find a nice little home for you. Uh, the auction will be starting in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Pardon me. Excuse me, please. Pardon. Joni, Joni, I'm terribly worried. Why? Well, gosh, if I'm going to do all the bidding, if I stand in front, I'll be too noticeable. And if I get in the back, you might not be able to see me. Yeah, that's right. Wait, you wear my hat. With this feather, I can't miss it. Oh, perfect, perfect. All right, attention, ladies and gentlemen. The auction is about to begin. Uh, will you bring in item 22, please? 22. The moose head. Right here. There we are. Now, I have 
here one of the finest moose heads that's ever been on a moose. Now, what am I bid? Who'll start the bidding on this beautiful moose head? I I'll bid $20. I have $20. I have $20. Do you mind removing Now, do I hear $25? Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't do take I hear my $25? Hat off. I have you $20. see, I... Old gentleman. I'm sorry, I just I'm can't sure take it off. One That's of all. Must have a den where this moose head would look absolutely beautiful hanging on your wall. Now I have twenty. Do I hear twenty-four? Twenty-three. Oh, come, ladies and gentlemen, the lady bid twenty dollars. Now who'll make it twenty-one? Who'll make it nineteen? I have twenty. Going once. Going twice. Sold to the lady for twenty dollars. <laughs> Next item, uh, number thirty-four. Now I have this beautiful wing chair here of the French provincial type. Now who will start the bidding? Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. I have fifteen dollars. Do I'll I hear bid twenty, 20 dollars? I have twenty dollars. Thank you very much. Now do I hear twenty-five? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Thank you, sir. I have twenty-five. Do I hear thirty? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars sold to the lady with the feather in her hat for thirty dollars. Wrap it up, Joe. Now we have item twenty-two A. Twenty-two A. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it just so happens that I have another moose head. Now, this moose head came from a moose that really had a head on him. Now, who will start the bidding on this beautiful animal? Do I hear ten? Going once? Going twice? Sold this beautiful couch for $60, sold to the woman with the feather in her hat. Well, I guess that about completes our stock of furniture, except for one more item. Yes, sir, it just so happens that I have a ninth moose head. There we are. I guess the judge was moose head happy. <laughs> oh, but ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the finest. Just a moment, ladies and gentlemen, don't leave. Sir, look at this noble nose, the true sign of a high-class moose. Huh? Wouldn't you like this? For, uh, ladies and gentlemen, won't you please buy the moose? It's a steal. Won't somebody steal it? <laughs> no, I give up. Well, here's my check. I'll have a van here to pick everything up within the hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? I said I'd have a van here to pick everything up within the hour. What's she talking about? Joni, I don't know what's been going on, but... Is something wrong? <coughs> Betty, your hat. Where's the feather in it? Oh, oh, my gosh. But she's got one. Oh. Lady, there's, there's been a mistake. I can't understand what the trouble is here. On all of my bids, you said distinctly, sold to the lady with a feather in her hat. And that's me. All sales are final. Good day. Well, it was nice eating dinner out for a change. Thanks for calling me, lover. Well, I didn't have time to cook and also buy a gift for the bunkers. Linen dinner service, huh? Say, Brad, yes. uh, as long as you enjoyed eating out so much for a change, why don't we sleep out, too? <laughs> uh, some nice hotel, monthly rates, you know. Oh, Joni, what in the world are you talking about? Are you sure this gift costs $50? Oh, yes. If you don't believe me, dear, here's the uh, receipt right here. Oh, that's my good girl. Right. Ah. Come in. And this is Mrs. Teep. Yes, after you, Johnny. Nice to see you, Judge. Well, Brad's told me a great deal about you. Well, thank you, Judge. Well, make yourselves comfortable. Mrs. Bunker will be down in a moment. Matilda, <laughs> here. I notice you seem quite taken aback by our furniture. Well, yes, it's just that it's so beautiful. I've never seen anything quite like it before. Have you, Brad? Well, uh, yes, somewhere, but I just can't place it. Oh, I picked it up at an auction today. Some family needed money badly, and, well, all I can tell you, for quality furniture, she got it at ridiculous prices. Uh, Brad, I I'm not feeling well. It's getting awfully warm in here for me. No, I'd be late. Oh, I'd, I'd like you to meet Mrs. Stevens. Oh, how do you do? Well, you're the lady who had the auction, where I bought all this lovely furniture. Joan, Joan, you mean, you mean you sold our furniture at auction? Joan! Brad, dear, I, I can explain everything. I, uh, I, uh, no, I don't think I can explain. <laughs> 
have here item 45. A wife. Due to circumstances beyond her control, this wife is losing its owner. Now, what am I bid for this wife? This is not an ordinary wife. This one's a real gook. This wife is unconditionally guaranteed to louse things up. Now, who'll open the bidding? Anybody bid anything? You folks want to get a wife? I'm a wife. I'll go and run. Forgive me. I won't buy a thing for ten years. Yeah, that's what you always say. Not a stitch of clothing. Yeah, that's it. Not a bite of food shall pass my lips. Not a hairpin. Uh, hello? Oh. Oh, really? Oh, say, that's wonderful of you. Oh, I'm so glad you understand. Goodbye. Well, who was that, Brad? Who, who was it? Now, that was Judge Bunker. Being fine, understanding people, he and his wife are returning our furniture tomorrow. Oh, Brad. But on two conditions. Yes. First, we return their check. Yes. yes. And second, we take back the linen service and give Judge Bunker the moose head. <laughs> He'd love it for his den. <laughs> Brad, you mean... Well, sure, you had the perfect gift from the very beginning. Well, Brad, I'm not such a goof after all. For only $25, I got the bunkers exactly what they wanted. And I saved $25. How about my change, if you please? <laughs> well, see... Uh, uh, $25, dear, if you don't mind. Well, yes, dear. Because I wonder where I'd put it. You don't think I would have spent it, do you, dear? I just Here you are, darling. Seem... Enjoy yourself. <laughs> He's so smart. I married John. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married John. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Seen in tonight's cast were Robert Spencer, Philip Tong, Annie Backus, and Bernard Gorsey.